Hi everyone and welcome back to Miss Estric Biology. So results day is nearly here and I know just how nerve wracking it is and how some of you are starting to feel that stress, anxiety and the nightmares are kicking in. So I'm going to go through with you today exactly what to expect and how to prepare to hopefully try and calm some of those nerves so you feel in control again. So number one is knowing when the results are actually coming out. Now this does sound obvious, I know, but let's just check we all know this. So for Scotland, your SQAs, those are coming out on Tuesday the 8th of August 2023 and you'll get them online or in the post. For A-level results, these have been released on Thursday the 17th of August. Now technically those A-level results are released at 8 a.m but it's dependent on what time your school is actually opening up to let you in. So definitely check what time your school is letting you go in to collect them, or it might be that they're emailing them or making them available online. So definitely check what is the process that your school is using so you know when and how to collect your results. Next then is knowing what documents you should have ready and take with you. So I recommend that you take with you a few sets of details, being your UCAS number and login details. And when you log into UCAS, if you need it, you'll be given a clearing number. Now you only get a clearing number if you didn't get any offers in the first place or if you rejected any offers that you did have so you don't have any offers to wait on or if your grades don't meet those offers. Now if any of those happen you are automatically entered into clearing and you'll automatically be given a clearing number which you can find on the UCAS hub. Now in addition to this make sure you take a mobile phone which is fully charged. Ideally if you can go with other friends or family that are there to support you make sure they've got their mobiles as well fully charged also. The reason for that is if you do go into clearing it then becomes first come first serve meaning when you look at what's available on clearing and I do have a whole other video on clearing which you can look up up here which I'm not going to go into in this video when you phone up the university and say here are the results I got this is the course I'm interested in will you take me it's first come first serve and if you say yes and take a slot it's no longer available. So what is available on clearing is constantly changing throughout the day. So make sure that you have multiple people that can do phone calls if necessary, so you get in there first. Now linked to that, it's also definitely worth having multiple phones with you because if you do miss the grades and then you have a look at your result and see you've only just missed them because you maybe were three marks off the grade you needed, it's still worth phoning the university about that. So some universities might still say they'll accept you when they realise you were only a couple of marks off or they might hold your place if you then opt to have a remark and see if you do gain those three extra marks. So make sure you've got the phone numbers of your university's firm and insurance choice ready as well, the admission team's phone numbers, in case you need to phone them on the day and see if you can have a bit of a negotiation or whether they'll still take you. Now UCAS track actually is updated from 8.15 a.m. Now I say from because not all the universities will literally be able to upload every single piece of information at the same time, but UCAS are saying they'll be updating it from 8.15. So you might actually be able to log in and see whether you got into university before you get the results. Now it's up to you if you want to do that. I personally did do that before I collected my results because it then meant when I went in, I knew I had at least ABB because that's what my offer was for Nottingham. But it might also mean that if you see that you didn't get the results, you are a bit mentally prepared to see what your grades might be and you will definitely then have phone numbers at the ready, mobile phone at the ready. Now you might try and log on at 8.15 and don't get anywhere because everyone's gonna be trying this or at least loads of people are gonna be trying this. So the website probably is gonna crash and be a bit busy, but that's something to plan for you might want to do. The next thing is get some support. Now I've talked about this a bit already, but I do recommend that you go with, if you can, a family member or someone that you trust so that they are there to support you whatever the outcome is. Whether it's an amazing outcome and you're there ready to celebrate, to congratulate or whether you have slightly missed the mark and you need support in building up your confidence and getting straight onto clearing, phoning universities, whatever it is, you're going to want to have someone there if you can. The next thing is having a plan B ready in advance. Obviously everyone's got their plan A. This is the dream, this is the ideal, this is what I want to be doing but plan A doesn't happen for everyone and that is just the reality of life that happens continually throughout your life it's happened to me 
many times and guess what I survived and I'm happy so have a plan B ready so think about what your different options will be if you don't get the grades so option one might be that you're going to check all of your exam results against the grade boundaries and see how far off you were from the next grade and consider whether a remark might be an option it might be you're going to phone up the universities and see if they'll accept you anyway it might be having another plan B or plan C I guess going through clearing and seeing is there anything there through clearing that the grades you did get you'd be interested in and then the final option might be that the grades that you did get you know aren't going to be sufficient for what you want to go into so it might be that you decide to take a gap year and start considering how you can build your skill sets and experience and even money through a gap year whilst also considering resets but having these plans in place will help you feel more in control. So on results day, if you don't get the grades that you need, you know you are still in control because you've considered these options. So definitely have the alternative plans at the ready so you can take action. You might have seen a little tail throughout. B came on to say, good luck everyone for your exam results. Because obviously she's been here through your whole journey. She wanted to say good luck as well. And then the last thing to get ready for is making sure you have something fun planned afterwards, whatever the outcome is, because you deserve it. A-levels were so hard. Waiting for results day is so stressful. So make sure you have some kind of relaxation or fun reward planned, whatever the outcome is, you deserve it. And linked to that, lots of chains of restaurants actually offer food deals and like free main meals and things like that if you take in your results script with you. So definitely have a look online to see which restaurants are doing that because you might be able to get yourself a free lunch. So that's it for how to prepare for results day. Make sure you have made a checklist of what I've gone through so you know what to prepare in advance, what to take with you and if you haven't already considered your alternative options list then definitely consider that now in preparation preparation but best of luck to everyone and whatever the outcome is remember what I said you still deserve to have a fun treat because it's been such a tough year good luck let me know how you do